Goodbye, fighter ship. You are a good ship. Very cool looking ship. You helped us kill some enemies. We will miss you, but we need to move up in the world. So there is our new ship, guys. Not the, the most beautiful ship in the world, but what the hell, it's ours, right? Welcome back everybody to No Man's Sky. I'm an old guy gaming and in this episode we are going to try our very hardest to get to the space anomaly. That's our main goal. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoy this episode. If you do hit that like button and subscribe to the channel and consider sharing the video out on your social media sites, your blogs, your discords and whatnot. That will really help the channel as will leaving a comment. We really appreciate that. Okay, let's get started. Whoa. <laughs> that guy just walked right, walked right through me. Okay, so what we're doing is uh, we're working on getting antimatter or making an antimatter for the quest, which means we need some condensed carbon. But before we even do that, I want to mark this place with a beacon because not only is it a trading hub, trading station, uh, but there's also a miner settlement right over the hill. Uh, so it's really cool to find both of those places right next to each other. Uh, so what we need to do is we need to build ourselves a beacon, but we need two metal platings to do that. So let's go into our inventory and we'll craft two metal platings, which we can't do because we need normal ferrite dust. And of course, we don't have any normal ferrite dust. Doggone it. Okay, let's go get some ferrite dust. Woo! All right, let's get this beacon set down. Boom. There we go. And we can also do a manual save there. And now we'll always be able to come back to this spot as well as the nearby miner settlement, which we're going to go to next. So let's go over here, hop in our ship. It wants us to refuel the ship, or the hyperdrive more specifically. And that is now done. Okay. Hyperdrive refueled, launch into space and test interstellar systems. All right, so the minor settlement is right over here, right? Is that it? Yeah, that's it. That's super convenient. That both of these are right next to each other. Oh, is there another ship trying to land down here? Yeah, there is. Woo! Come on, man. That's my spot. <laughs> All right, you know what? Screw it. Let's just do a normal landing. I don't care. Inverted. Whoa! <laughs> uh, sometimes I, like, just get a little... Actually, is that me? Yeah, it's kind of me, but it's also the VR being weird. But we're going to blame it on the VR, not blame it on me. Okay. We'll just do a manual land. It's only launch fuel. Not a big deal. Plus, we can look at this ship, too, if it stays long enough and see if it's anything good. It's a Class B with 25 slots for only 2.7 million. That's actually cheap. Let's talk to this guy. How you doing, Mr. Korvax, dude? That We don't know a single word of your language yet. I'm sure that'll change in the future. Make an offer on the Lifeform Starship. Okay, so... Look at this thing. Let's negotiate the price so we can do the comparison. Same class. 25 slots. So that gives us 8 more slots than we currently have. It has the recharge system on it. it has a hyperdrive, which I think every ship from now on will since we have ours now. I think. I don't know that for sure, though, actually. Um, it does not have efficient thrusters, but then again, we don't either. So that's not really anything. For 2.7 million, I think this is a good idea. Plus, we get extra hyperdrive range. Now, we lose a little damage, but that's okay. We're not doing a lot of fighting anyway. The slots are not in a, in a terrible configuration. They're not the best, but they're not terrible. I think we should do this. I really do. I mean, for eight more slots, right? If it was if it was much more than that, I wouldn't. But for eight more slots, I think it, we should do it. Okay, so let's move all of our stuff over. To do that, we need to right trigger. He's like all excited now because he knows we're gonna buy his stuff and give him a ship that's not as good as his. <laughs> um, the other thing that we can do, which. Uh,
All right, I'm not seeing that option. I wonder if they fix that. Oh no, you can dismantle. So if, if we dismantle um, the stuff before we give it to him, we get some of the stuff back. And it doesn't change the price or anything. So let's do that. Let's dismantle this, because he's got one already, right? Yeah. And we can't dismantle the hyperdrive. The shield. Uh, press right trigger to activate. What? That doesn't make sense. Okay, so that was the only thing we could dismantle. But look what we got out of that, man. That's cool. Okay, so we will quick transfer that, that, and the wiring loom. And I think, uh, I think that's it. Let's do it. Goodbye, fighter ship. You are a good ship. Very cool looking ship. You helped us kill some enemies. We will miss you, but we need to move up in the world. So there is our new ship, guys. Not the... The most beautiful ship in the world, but what the hell, it's ours, right? It's the Berry PC-9. Berry PC-9. Okay, now, let's go in here. Um, you know what we did lose, though, in doing that is... Well, we didn't lose it, but we'll have to, we just have to rebuild it, is the... The little teleporter thing. The microprocessor. So let's head on in here really quick. We'll check the multi-tool that's in here. Get the nanites. 72 nanites, very nice. Okay, what do we got here? This is a class B. Not even close to as cool as the one we have. All right, so we will decline that, but we did check. Um, let's go here and talk to you. Just get through all that dialogue quick that we can't understand anyway. I don't think you're going to sell any blueprints that we don't already have. It's components that I'm looking for. Okay, so you have salt refractors, wiring looms, microprocessors, sodium diode. That's what we needed, but how many do you have? You've got three, right? Okay, I need to look I need to look at a couple of things. Let's sell the silicate powder. Oh, the microprocessor we don't need. We got two antimatters, which is really nice. We're probably going to hang on to at least one of those, so we'll, when we come across a, a drop pod, we can expand our inventory. Because I'm not planning on doing a lot of hyper hyper jumping yet. Okay. Um. So I want to look at our ship and technology installations. So we had started to install the teleporter thing, and uh. I want to do that again. We'll just have to start over. So we need three wiring looms to make that happen. Um, and an antimatter, which let's go ahead and do that now. So we need teleport receiver installed. We have one wiring loom. Does it not let us... Oh, we did it. It's installed. Right? We must have had we must have had those from when we took that other stuff apart. And we still have one extra left over. Excellent. Yeah, because if this wasn't installed, it would be flashing blue. Super cool, man. Okay. Let's go back to here. I think everything's installed here that we have so far. And then in our own suit, we also needed to fix this, which is gonna help a lot. Uh, oh yeah, we got that anti matter. Let's do that now. We'll get it done. That's going to also help with the temperature and all that kind of thing too. Excellent. So all of our upgrades, our crafted upgrades, are now installed. We already did that, right? Let's look and see what's in these guys. 
sodium. Ammunition in condensed carbon. Excellent. Let's see what's in that plant there. We're looting these guys' plants. <laughs> okay, let's talk to this guy. Can we steal his nanites? I mean, borrow his nanites, too. Priest entity uh, Lagomart. Lagomar. Electron life forms bright green and suddenly slows. They tap into their personal data while their facial lights dilate and internal systems crash. Columns of streaming data show their power level spiraling downwards. Blah 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 Slowly, painfully, the enti entity inserts the element into a slot in their hip. There is no effect. Their mask lights go out. What? I killed him! <laughs> Damn! A fresh electronic beam is downloaded into the now empty metal shell. This new entity ignores me. Oh, man! That sucks. All right, well, it is what it is. It wasn't my fault, man. I didn't know what the hell he wanted. Let's look at the market here real quick. The terminal uh, for buying. So they do sell cobalt. I just wanted to, to look at that. Oh, okay. And they also sell cobalt mirrors. That's good to know. And pretty much everything else looks like it's the basic stuff. Ion sphere. All right, here we go. Let's get back uh, to the quest now. We got a new cockpit. It looks different. It's, I'm not used to it. <laughs> um, I'm gonna back up just a just a smidge here, and let's go here. Options and read center view. There we go. Okay, off into space we go. We are now in a hauler type ship with eight more slots than we had before, and it didn't cost us that much money. So it is an upgrade. It's not a big upgrade, but it is an upgrade. In space, access the galaxy map from the quick menu. Yep, we have already... Whoa, whoa. We've already done that. Okay. Let's select this Hudley system, and let's warp to it. Here we go. Whoa, there's a planet right there. Hudley system, discovered by Hacksaw. Hacksaw's the same dude that discovered uh, our first system, Nuga. Ship monitoring system reports hyperdrive error. Warp fuel is depleted. That sucks. Searching for fuel source. Searching. Searching. Right trigger. Obtained. Warp fuel source in 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, <laughs> 16KLS. Accept guidance to fuel source? Of course we will. Guidance accepted. Plotting route. Right trigger. Alright. Let's uh let's go ahead and scan this planet while we're at it, right? Gamma root copper, uranium, and silver. It's got silver on it. And uranium. It's a high radio source planet. So definitely gonna be radioactive, I'm assuming. Okay, let's move this way. There's the space station. We should probably go there. Let's do it so we can get our next suit slot and get a save in since we haven't saved in a while. Okay, let's hop up here. I knew I knew I'd hit that a little too soon. <laughs> Alright, let's back up. Try it again. I'm also going to put this into cargo. Okay. 
That takes care of that. Let's um, very quickly check the multi-tool. This is a class C, not even going to bother with it. I, I have a sneaking suspicion that it might be a long time before we find a multi-tool that's better than the one we currently have. I mean, that's not a bad thing either. But we're just going to have to... Uh, we have to keep looking, though, because you never know what you're going to come across. Let's check the back room real quick, and then we're going to head down to the planet. Any nanites in here? Does not look like it. Okay. Wait a minute. Nothing on the counter there. Hello, Mr. Gek. That is a Class C with 33 spots and a little bit out of our reach at the moment. All right, let's do a save. And here we go. Again? It's because we're carrying those uh, those uh, salvage data. They're worth 50 thou a piece, and we got a stack of them. So we're attracting the attention of nasties. My thruster's not quite. I have to really move it forward to get that to work. Whoa! There's three of them. Shields are at max. Let's get out away from the asteroid field a little bit. Oh, there's a fleet over there. That's cool. Oh, wow! <laughs> that was a big collision, and it didn't even take our shields down. How funny is that? Uh, where'd he go? There he is. This thruster is weird on this ship because it's uh, not in the same range as the other one was. We must have destroyed that, th that first one because I only see two ships now. Oh no, I guess there's three ships. Wash, rinse, and repeat here. Okay, flip around. This is a lot harder to do in VR than it is in, with the normal controls. But we're getting better at it. We are getting better at it. Man, did we not get that guy? Here we go. Okay, well, we got one down, and some chromatic metal. There goes the timer. Are they even taking my shields down at all?
Oh, that's not my shields. That's my, uh, that's my thrust. Okay, I was, I was looking at that and it was like it wasn't even going down. So that means what are, what are my shields? I gotta figure that out. We're on a new ship here. Oh, okay, it's up on the left, like it normally is. Gotcha. Yeah, we got some good shots off on that one. One more to go. I've got to learn to relax my wrist because I get way more tense than I should. I'm like gripping these uh, VR controllers like really hard. It's like, nah, just relax, feather touch. It's just that it's intense doing this, you know, because it's a, well, it's a dogfight. Awesome, so let's do another run out. Sucker. Okay. Damn. I gotta relax my wrist here for a second. <laughs> that was intense. Fun though. Okay, let's see here. We need to get back in position for our our target. Look at those fleet of ships. Those are cool. We'll be doing that here pretty soon. Definitely doing that pretty soon. Alright, so we're gonna line up here and head on in. Oh, yeah, man. <laughs> we get a little bit better each time. We just have to uh, not grip these so damn tight, man. It's like bothering my wrist now. We should have plenty of fuel to get there. I love these different cockpits, man. They're really cool. Like a completely different design than the other one. There's definitely seems to be more range on this thruster on this ship than the other one. I don't know if it's because it's a different ship or if the VR is just acting weird or what, but. Okay, let's check this place out. We're going to learn a couple of words here while we're here, too. Ooh. There we go. Alright, so what do we got here? Acid rain, probably, or something? Yep, corrosive. Hey, hi, 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 voy, 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 voy. Right, trigger. The stone resonates, producing a sound that fills my mind. A vision begins to take shape. A small alien life form kneels before me. They are tired beaten. Without meeting my gaze, they offer up their hand. Accept knowledge. The name Gek floats in my vision, an echo of the strange vision I just experienced. A word in this alien tongue is stared into my brain. You have learned the, the Gek word for Gek. Okay, well, it's a starting point, right? Let's hit the other language stones. You've learned the Gek word for friend. We are now fluent in 20 words. That's nice. Um, here we go. You've learned the Gek word for the. All right, excellent. Now, let's do this. Let's 
structure is unlike anything I've encountered on my journey so far. Everything about it is so obviously alien, so obviously out of place. As I stare at it, words from themselves form themselves in my mind, a strange fragment of broken speech. Is it traveler? Is it friend? Uh, yeah, we're your buddy. Sure, why not? It feels strange responding to questions. I am unsure that I am being asked, but something has clearly taken notice of my reply. I am overwhelmed by a sense that something has awoken, something that someone is watching me. It forms another question. Is it first? Is it last? I don't know. I guess I'm first. I do not know how I'm being spoken to. This monolith is ancient, and I cannot escape the feeling it has asked these questions many times over. It asks again. Have they seen the Crimson Eye? Has the Crimson Eye seen them? Uh, both. Likelihood of anomaly exceeds safety parameters. Breach detected. Alert. Alert. The boundaries fall. The walls collapse. Your universe awaits. Find us, traveler. Upgrade module acquired. Open the inventory with the begin. We got an upgrade module? What do we get? Alright, let's get back in the ship here. See an upgrade module. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Um, all right, guys. Well, we are out of time. Uh, the buzzer actually went off while we were in the dogfight. So uh, we didn't make it to the anomaly in this episode, but man, we are going to continue trying really hard to do that as soon as possible, hopefully in the next episode. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and wrap this one up. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Look at that weird guy down there. I've seen critters look, that look like him before. Uh, anyway, <laughs> got sidetracked, didn't I? And uh, yeah, we'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.